and welcome back to Lempis. Welcome back to Germany as well. Yes, Ali is back in Germany, so please no more going away. Mm -hmm. And yeah, in this video we're going to talk about, or we're going to address all the questions that you have asked us. I had made a post before on my YouTube community and also on my Instagram. Before we start, I wanted to ask you something. If you have seen um, our YouTube videos, we have always different introductions. I wanted to know, do you like it that way that we have different intro or you prefer that we only choose one and we stick to that? So I want to hear from you guys. Leave that in the comment section below. Um, the first question is, when are you planning to have babies? And do you feel the pressure? How is the pressure? Like, do you feel like we have a lot of pressure from people? It's not really like we want to have a family. We definitely want to have children and we are open to have uh, like uh, also a big family. But we want, we want first to enjoy ourselves. We are living in a time when people are having kids around 38, uh, even 40 sometimes. <laughs> so basically, kids come at the right time and now it's not the right time. Should I put it that way? Mm -hmm. And when is going to be the right time? Mm, good they, question. And uh, that is the the main question. I'm also waiting for the right sign. When do I? F I don't know. The right sign that, from <laughs> yeah, Jesus. <don't> Jesus, <laughs> let me know. Yeah, I, I think I'm going to 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 be like the one that give you a sign. <laughs> I don't Lampy, know. Wake I, up. I'm just going to 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 live on your on your cup. Maybe I don't know something like a, a baby time. doll. It's a time. baby doll. It's like a time. I'm going to put some, you know. Come on. To be honest, I feel like all around you know, the house. There is the right time for a everything. A pacifier somewhere. <laughs> no, that's a sign. A pacifier a everywhere pacifier, in the house. Yes. <laughs> it's so fun. Like. I have to wait for the right time, but when is the right time? I have no idea. There is no right time. There yeah, is right time. You no don't right know. Time. You don't have children, but people that are watching have children. Like you get a sign, like okay, now it's a sign from who? From I don't know, from God or from a dream. I don't even dream. <laughs> you don't even dream, so you're going to wait a long time. No, 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 it's not about waiting, and it's not about right time. We just want to enjoy our life a little bit more, but travel we are almost more, there. I mean, a uh, travel more. We are traveling like crazy. <laughs> Actually, when are we even working? We are just traveling around. Uh, mm -hmm. We are working all the time. We are working now on YouTube. We have an agreement. We have put a time limit that is 35 years. 35 years old. That is the, the maximum time that we are going to say, okay, that is now. I would put now. it 37. 37. No, 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 37, no. no, baby, 37 is too much. 37, I'm going to adopt. Yeah, baby, I, do, I mean, to be honest, when it comes to adopting a child, I'm also very open because, you know, I'm raised with, I'm, I'm used to having a big family and having like four kids at home. And I, I don't think we are going to get to a stage where we are going to have four biological kids. But I think, you know, for me, honestly, baby comes at the right time. So when you get a baby, you get a baby. When you just wait for the right time, it's going to come. Now it's time to have fun and just enjoy yourself. Yeah. Yep. Did we meet online? No. No. Yeah, I mean, if you haven't seen our How We Met video, we are also going to leave that either up here or in no, the description. No, no. But we met at the university in a swimming pool, not online. But I, I am not against people that meet online because I feel like you can also meet a genuine person online. Okay, of course, I'm, I'm a, a I'm a little bit more traditional. For me, it has to be... But I understand that I'm a like old-fashioned guy, so... You don't believe... No, I do believe that... I mean, I understand that people can also meet online and... But you wouldn't do it. I wouldn't... Personally, I wouldn't do it. I need to to be, to meet the person naturally and... Uh, ah, okay. You feel like it's not a yeah. natural method. No, no, it is natural. I mean, in our times, it's natural because internet is part of our everyday life. But it's not something for me. Like I, I don't think I would get uh, to the point uh, fully connected to the person just by meeting them online. No. Okay. Next question. What jobs do we do in Germany? Ah, this was from an Italian person. I was like, oh, greetings from Italy. What jobs do you do in Germany? You still work for us. Thank you. No. No. 
wanted to say you used to work in Italy. That's no, good. I'm working actually as a, I'm an editor and a graphic designer. I have my own music magazine in Italy and I publish this magazine every single month. That's that's why I'm so free. I can live in any country in Europe. I just need a computer and internet to work because all my work can be done online with a computer. Yep. So what do I do? I just hustle. Um, <laughs> I, yeah, what so. do I do? I'm a, let me put it this way. I'm a consultant consulting for a pharmaceutical company. Mm -hmm. Because if you say something like that to a person in English, they'll probably think, oh, do you have a farm with kettles and goats and things like that? Pharmaceutical? Now, pharmaceutical companies. I consult for pharmaceutical companies. That's yes. what I do at the moment. But professionally, I'm a biologist. I'm just not doing that. I quit. Yeah. And why did you quit? <laughs> uh, that's a story for another day. But I left science in immediately after, a week before I graduated. <laughs> Before you graduated. <laughs> yes, my PhD, I decided to leave. Okay, so how do you motivate African women living in Europe to work, to work, to work their way up the ladder, the career ladder? And I'm thinking, to be honest, I don't consider myself as somebody who is up. Because I, okay, the current, the job that I'm doing at the moment, I'm honestly just starting. And I don't have industry experience. This is my second year. Mm-hmm. But I would say... I mean, PhD, two master, one bachelor. Yes. Change job. Yes. What is the motivation that uh, gets you from step one to step ten? Um, I would just put it this way. You know, your mind is your own. You are as good as you think you are. Mm -hmm. And when you, th when you think you can, you, when you, you know, when you really think, I can become whatever I want then you know that is your freedom but when you also have limiting thoughts like oh i can't because i don't have this i had those thoughts at some point too when i feel like i can't because my dodge is not good mm -hmm. but i realized do show up at the interview talk to the people be honest and be yourself and my strength in my opinion is a village girl mm -hmm. is that you can't I'm sorry, but you can't give me anything I can't do. From the village, you wake up at 3 in the morning, at 1 a.m. in the morning, pounding mahangu. Then you have to go to the field and cultivate. And then you have to come back and cook lunch. You work your whole day. Now, tell me what I can't do. And how can we afford to travel so often if we still have full-time jobs? That was the question. Okay, for me, of course, I'm my, my own uh, employer. So... I, you just decided. I'm my own <laughs> boss, so I decide uh, whenever I want uh, to take some day out, and I just organize my my work consequentially. No, but it's not for you. It's also you work on the computer every holiday we go to. Even when we go deep in, yeah. when we do safari, we have internet. Of course, you cannot go somewhere and not work for two weeks. But I just, uh, as she said, I just need a computer so and an internet connection. So even at the village. I was working. A, I was working with the hotspot on my phone, uh, and I was working when I'm driving, deep in uh, also working. at the north in Namibia. I was the working on my was magazine. Nice. My job at the moment is also quite flexible. I don't work on Wednesday afternoon. I don't work on Friday afternoon. Mm -hmm. Then I have really sufficient number of holiday days, which mm -hmm. is amazing, and yeah, so we just take advantage of that. So if you have. Uh, if you you don't work on Friday afternoon, so you can we 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 fly on Friday afternoon, mm -hmm. so one or two we can fly, and then we come back maybe on Monday morning, or we say we take I take then two leave days, Monday and Tuesday, and then come back on Tuesday or Wednesday morning, and we leave close to the airport. <laughs> That's yep, also that very is true. we leave very close. Very to the close, airport. like twenty twenty five minutes. We are at the airport, and that is a huge advantage when you want to. And we live nearby one of the major capital in Europe, which is also good because then you have uh, uh, low cost fly companies like Ryanair and EasyJet. They are almost serving you for. 100 euros you can go like, anywhere, even yeah. 40. Yes, even 60, 70. The last time I booked a flight for Italy to go and come back for 65 euros, which is really nothing. But every time we are traveling, we really look up for the best deal, the best offer, where it's cheaper, 
where is where we can go that is like for us it has to be it, the place has to be nice but we don't need to spend so much so, I don't like to go to places where the reception is nice but your room is not nice like yeah, hotels like so. one time so so <laughs> When we got engaged in Budapest, uh, I wanted to book something a little bit more luxury. So we, I spent like, uh, I think it was 400 euros and it was not even worth it because the hotel room was so small, so yes. small. I mean, the hotel was really nice, Only amazing. The reception, the reception though, was the reception amazing. The breakfast room is nice, but you don't spend time there. There, just in the room. So, so. I prefer an apartment or Airbnb. So the next question, what inspire you in life? What inspires you in life? What inspire me in life? I am somebody that is not as focused as Lempy for sure. I'm 100% in into working out to achieve some goals. But I also think like sometimes I always the one in the relationship that would like Lempy, stop it. Now we need to uh, go out or now we need to do something because La Only, Vita. Yes, yes, I'm Italian, so <laughs> at certain point you need to stop working and enjoy the time because as I always say to Lempi, the present is now, you cannot live too much in the future and what is going to be because otherwise all your life is going to pass by, so just okay. sometimes take breaks and Good enjoy life. the moment, it's really important. So when you answer the question, what inspires your life? Enjoying life. Okay. Everything that is about enjoying life. <laughs> I live for goals. When I set them, nothing is going to stop me from achieving that. Mm -hmm. uh, that is like the what keeps my blood flowing, to be honest. Like one, two, three. I like that. Every month, I one, know, two, I know, three. I know. One, two, three. Tick, tick. I, I do that also with uh, beginning of the year. I write everything down that I want to achieve in a year. I come back every now and then and say, this is done, this is done, this is done, this is not done. It's happening now, whatever is going to be. Yeah, so I live for goals. I like to set goals and achieve them. One thing that we don't compromise when it comes to our relationship for me is yes, spending time together. That that is important. That's is something important. especially on weekends because these are the time when we are free. Yeah. And then of course uh, when it comes to what we eat. Mm -hmm. Quality is number one. I can't compromise on that. What keeps you going as a couple? For me, love and respect. Love and respect, yes. Love and respect and also like a uh, long term uh, goal, future of having a family. Like for me, as a couple, I think like our b biggest project uh, that we are going to have uh, together in our life is going to be to, to build a family. Apart from our like interaction and our love that is between uh, the two of us, this is the major project that oh, is that you call building a, fa is yeah, that a it family. Yeah, it is a project. Baby. It is <laughs> oh a project. Goodness. It is a project because it comes with all a lot of building things. Building a house, having a house, house uh, having jobs. It. So for you, you live for basically. I take that as growth. Yes, I take that as growth. We can say that. Yeah, there growth. is growth. There has to be growth all the time. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, I get really bored. Yes. So, do you plan to leave? Or have Ale taken taken me to Sicily before? Yes. I mean, there hasn't of been course. a place we haven't visited in Italy. In Italy, no. There are still a lot of places where we need to go. Then we should also visit Namibia more because Italy is smaller than Namibia. Seriously, in Namibia, you can see almost everything in, I would say, no. two trips. Three trips maximum. So you can everything. do that in Italy too. No. You're driving. Come on, driving from the. Yeah, in a in a in a term of uh, short distances, of course, uh, Italy is not that big, but the the density of co different culture there in Italy is not something that you can visit in one trip. Like same. one trip, it just for example in. 30 days, you can hardly visit the entire Tuscany if you want to visit all the cities. You know? Why are you visiting all the cities? They are all serving similar things. That what? Ah, maybe, okay, let's focus on what? the question. Like no, it, no. You are saying that Firenze have the same things of Siena, that Siena has the same things of Luca. What is interesting in Siena? In Siena, guys, please say something to this girl. Okay, let's focus to be honest on the no, question. No, no, That's no. a video for another day, okay? In Namibia, you have also a lot of things you haven't tasted. 
societies societies i've tasted it no baby seriously what did i i didn't taste i taste i taste uh, oshifima oshigali oshikwila but, Oshi. that is everything from the north side of the country yeah from south from, you haven't from the south what is in the from the south give me one plate that is from i the also south. haven't explored the south very well <laughs> Guys, that was it from us today. I hope we've addressed all your questions, right? I yes, hope. and if we didn't? Leave also, if we have more questions, leave that in the description below for another video. And if you enjoy this video as usual, a like. Give us, oh my goodness, your hands are actually blending in with your frame. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, no, stay in your frame. So give us a like, most important guy, leave a comment. And if you are new, subscribe to our channel if we enjoy if you enjoy our content yeah that is it from us from bubuccino and i see you in our next video Bye. ciao ciao ciao